Hi everybody, it's Robin Moser with Robin Moser and Associates and Remax Realty Professionals. And we're here today to talk to you again about the weekly real estate stats that we post every Monday. So this Monday, the stats are showing that we've seen very small amounts of improvement and a big drastic drop for real estate, five grand in a week on the average list and sale price. Now, what I see in those stats is that they're pretty average, they're pretty flat, nothing's really going on in the market. That drop of $5,000 in the sale price, it seems like a lot when you're looking at it on the average, but what you have to understand is that that could just be less expensive homes being sold in the last week, it could be more expensive homes being sold in the last week. That can also influence that average of rise in sale of the list price. So we're still sitting at about 18% of the houses that are listed will sell within the next 30 days. And I think that this is probably where I would caution some people and I would say you need to make a decision. Do you want to be the one or you want to be the four? You need to start making decisions. When you look at your list price, when you look at how you're listing your home or what you're doing with your home. And you need to decide how are you going to stand out amongst five listings. And that's actually gonna be something that I'm gonna tell you that's pretty important that you're going to wanna look at. The other things that you wanna also take a look at is those seven day trend graphs. Now that seven day trend we did talk to you about before and we told you how to add up the numbers and subtract the numbers to find out what's happening in the last seven days in real estate or how many listings are we adding to the market, how how many listings are we taking away from the market and the reality of it is is right now we're looking at 493 houses that we're adding to the market over top of what we're selling in the last seven days now last week that number was at 600 now that does not mean that this is a trend that's happened once it's lower than the week before we don't have a trend yet but it does mean to take a look at the number and watch that seven day trend number because if you continue to see it go down then that's that anticipation of that spring market. And once we're in kind of those 100 numbers or less, then that's when you know that market is ramping up. So remember, we've told you to watch it. We know the spring market is coming. It's never not come. But there's a chance that we might start seeing some of that activity that I've been telling you about that I talked about last week. And right now we want to keep watching those seven day trend numbers. We want to see if they're going up or if they're going down consistently so that we know when that market's coming kind of to that big spring peak, which timing wise is that usually, like I said before, starts April, May, June, July. So I hope you guys have a great week. I hope you enjoyed our real estate stats update and the explanation of them. And of course, if you're ever looking at buying or selling a home in the next six to 12 months, Robin Moser and Associates would love to help you out. We'd love to make sure that you are fully informed and we will explain all of this information to you in detail always. So I hope you're having a great day and we'll talk to you soon.